The Bible says in Romans 10 from verse 6, let me summarize that. He said, the righteousness of faith does not say who will go to heaven and bring Jesus down, or who will go into the deep and bring him up, but what seeth it? The word is in thy mouth and in thy heart. Amen. The word of faith which we preach. That is, if thou shalt confess with your mouth and believe with thy heart, you shall be saved. It starts here. That's why Jesus told the centurion. He marveled at his faith. The centurion said, don't come to my house. It's not needful. Just speak the word only. You see, the word of God is anointed. As you and I begin to speak that word against our mountain, that mountain we hear the word of God as though God himself was speaking it. Child of God, you need to start today to speak to your mountain like David spoke to Goliath, like the woman with the issue of blood spoke to her mountain. Begin to use the word of God against that mountain and begin to declare, I do not have the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. I don't know what your need may be, but begin to declare the word of God over your life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, begin to say of the Lord, you are my refuge. You are, you see, when you make a confession, the Bible says Jesus is the high priest of our profession. Can you imagine that what I say here, Jesus will repeat before the Father? 